How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Sud here, and welcome back to an episode of the... Our second episode of the Papal States campaign. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this series. I'll figure out when I upload it to YouTube, probably. But, uh, you know, our papacy game, where France didn't actually do too well in their first war with England. Well, they got they got a bit back, but, like, not really. Hmm, <clears throat> let's see. They got Alençon. I'm pretty sure there's, like, maybe an event that can fire that lets Alençon break free instead of just conquering them. I, I'm not really... Not really sure how that works. Um, yeah, anywho. Um, France is actually friendly to us as well. Um, not sure exactly who else I want to ally. I do think France would be a good ally. Don't get me wrong. They're rivaled to... They're rivaled to Austria, but if we could still ally them. Uh, oh, no, there, there's no way, because I'm rivaled to Provence as well. Who's Provence rival to besides us? Brittany? Genoa? What about Genoa? Would Genoa be a good ally? We do get claims on Liguria soon-ish, so maybe not. Aragon could be a good one, you know? Um, hmm. I don't know. Um, I definitely think uh, we don't need to do that anymore. Let's see. Uh, what do we got there? Ingolstadt was pieced out of from our side. That sucks. This might be a loss. Not that we're going to lose anything, really, but uh, but still, you know. And again, I don't think we will actually even earn favors, even if we win, because Austria is not the one. Austria called me in, sure, but not because they're the war leader, because because they were co belligerized Or they are, by default, co belligerized because of the fact that they are the emperor. I'm watching out in case the Burgundian army comes back here. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Yeah, they're coming at me. So let's get out of here. Trying to beat up these guys here. We are being sieged down in Rome. Let's see if we can reach that. Hopefully we can... Oh, this is a Grasslands province, though, unfortunately, here. Here's what you do. You retreat from there because you were gonna get we we're gonna get smashed otherwise. We still dealt a lot of damage to them, so that's not a big deal. Austria's down here now, so that's good. Yeah, no, this is going fine. But again, I don't I don't actually know if we will get any benefit from this. I'm definitely not gonna do any more. That this is all I'm gonna do. I will put here's what I'll do. I'll put my vassals on siege duty, and they can go and try to siege stuff down or Whatever, um, but I'm not going to be doing anything else. We definitely want to annex our vassals pretty much as soon as possible. Just because the relationship slots that they eat up are pretty annoying. Um, we could maybe try to vassalize Bologna? I'm not sure. They The economic base obviously is a factor that weighs against it. Um, but we might be able to... We might be able to do something. We'll see. Yeah, we are. So we're allied with Milan, Austria. We could definitely afford one more at the very least. What about Venice's rivals? Um, Bohemia. Bohemia. Did Bohemia go Hussite? Because I know that happens pretty early on. No, they haven't gone Hussite yet at the very least. Um, which is good for us. I'm sure we would have gotten events about it if they had turned Hussite. But, yeah. Hmm. Them and Austria don't like each other, though. Man, yeah. Alliance chains early on aren't really benefiting us too much. <laughs> Hungary's rivaled us, so no way we're rallying them. Um, I mean, honestly, Aragon might be an alright one. But they're allied to England. Gosh darn. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Seems like this world's going all right in our favor, but uh, they're about to get Liège's capital, and that'll flip things around a good bit. Hmm. Well, again, I knew this was going to be a slow start, and although we are in a war, it's not really something that's going to benefit us. <laughs> but uh, that is okay. That is okay. Our money's not great for either. Um, luckily, the Renaissance should reach us fairly quickly. Uh, sure, I'll do that. Venice likes me more now. Not that, uh, that really matters too much. I do think we should... Might as well go ahead and do this. Monthly admin up, since you like me so much anyways. 
There we go. So again, let's see. So we so we spend our own money. It is definitely our own money to um It's definitely our own money to call the ecumenical council. And basically that's a way to get influence directly. Whereas this So so am I correct in thinking that basically it doesn't seem like the actual influence does actually go up. Like it, I think, I think the other factors don't count for us, and so the only way for us to get it is that if we appoint a cardinal. So for every appoint, every cardinal we appoint, does that like? I'm, what I'm wondering is that is that only for one? Is that only for one? Uh, for the lifetime of this pope, or is that forever? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Um, I guess we will find out. Okay, it was a white piece. And yes, we did not get any favors with Austria as a result. Gosh darn it. Actually, I, well, again, I don't think we would have anyways, so. Eh, that's just unfortunate. Not much I can that can be done about it, necessarily, so um, it's not a huge deal, but like, yeah, just annoying. Um, let's go ahead and get a claim on Treviso and then stop there. I think that's fine. What about, so then Ferrara is allied to... What's their face to Milan and Ragusa? Ragusa does have a hmm. Ragusa does have a core of Dalmatia, and in a couple of my other campaigns as Epirus, what I did, uh, which I was doing on stream, I did release Dalmatia from Ragusa, like conquer Ragusa and release Dalmatia, then feed Dalmatian cores back to them from Venice and Croatia if possible. And I think that might be what we try to do here. It's honestly, it's not a bad, not a bad strat, honestly. Um, here, let's just take this for now. 3% is not a significant enough penalty for me to worry at all. So unfortunately, unlike a normal theocratic order or whatever, we don't get to choose from like a variety of rulers. We're pretty much just stuck with uh, with dice rolls, you know? But uh, it's okay. It's okay. Money is not great right now. But again, that'll go up with time. That'll go up in time. Let me do it for you here as well. We can go ahead and uh, lower our army maintenance. No reason that we couldn't do that. Hmm. I wonder. Look here. I want to go look at the Swiss Guard because I bet. I bet maybe we could like just you know at some point eventually permanently employ them. <laughs> right now they're pretty small, which is actually fine. If anything, that's that's good. Hmm. But we're going to be gaining a, a lot of free land from our vassals here uh, once we integrate them. So I'm not going to worry about that yet anyways. Alright, let's just wait for now until we can annex our vassals. I think that is absolutely fine. I don't think there's any, any reason we need to rush into this situation, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, well, let's just let's just chill here for a bit. How about that? Let's go ahead and pay off our debt. January, so it's November of 54 is when we started in this, uh, when, or 40, 44, you know, and then a year later will be November 54, and then we can annex our dudes. All right, hmm. <clears throat> Let's see here. Ocean Prestige, Manpower's doing all right. Okay. I just had a really weird case of deja vu. I feel like I've just said the exact same things I just said. <laughs> uh, I mean, I know that is what deja vu is. I don't need to really explain it, but you know. <laughs> um, man, it would be nice if we could go to war with uh, with Venice and have Austria join. Maybe we could promise them land. Eh, it does not seem so. <laughs> Milan, you have a positive attitude towards Venice. How in the world? How in the world is that possible? <laughs> that makes no sense to me. Hmm. I, I, I don't know why I was uh, thinking that we could, we would be able to use that <clears throat> extra dude there. Hmm. The Pope's bankers. Florence opinions goes down. Florence gets an event, and we reduce the. Curia Treasury. Huh, let's see, what, what happens if that happens? I'm not sure what that meant, but, you know, 
cool. Um, I guess we gave Florence some money? Hmm. We have a 33% chance right now. If we do this, we get the corruption. So what about this one? So this is the way that you just do it and get the normal investment. 20. So we can do this as many times as we want, right? So that's pretty good. Hmm, interesting. Let's see, we have our reform. Uh, mission on the high seas, national sailors, force limit chance to capture enemy ships. That's that's interesting, right? That's a very sea-focused thing. It's not bad, but it's not great either. Mission to civilize, we don't have exploration or expansion. Um, that's kind of interesting. We can be colonial pope. External mission, manpower recovery speed, that's really good. Tolerance to true faith is also good, but I think manpower recovery speed is, is stronger. So, either way, uh, interesting. Savoy has rivaled me. Mm. That's fine. Again, Provence would be a good one to try and get, but they're allied to France. So, you know. Not gonna be able to do that yet. Uh, okay, so Urbino and Perugia. Perugia. Alright, um, we will annex you. It'll be done in February of 57. If we started annexing you next month, let's see. February 57, yep. And you will be done. Apparently it's uh, improving slower than I expected. September 56, because you're a good bit less. So we need to wait like five months or something like that. So, or yeah, five months, yeah. Uh, all right, <clears throat> one. I'll check in three just to be sure. Um, let's see, so the Jubilee, I don't know what, like, the point is of ever having a negative opinion, so, I don't know, I'm sure. Yay, everyone has a Jubilee. Okay, yeah, a few more months. I think two more ticks. And if we're, oh, like, a, a month off, it's not a huge deal. Uh, should we get some, some prestige? Imported iron is a good event. Uh, England is no longer a valid rival. Probably because they eclipsed me, unfortunately, but also fortunately. Tunis would be a fine rival, why not? Uh, eventually we want to conquer, like, land uh, over there. Oh, really? Okay, so Aragon actually kept Naples this time. This is my first time seeing this. I could support their independence. Now that's interesting. Huh. I kind of feel like we should. Who's Aragon ally to? England. Hmm. Honestly, I'm gonna do it. Uh, uh, uh let's see. We let's see. We wanted to do it this month, right? February. There we go. Cool. And we're losing diplomacy, but it'll be done <clears throat> before that really becomes a problem. If anything, we should start getting claims on on Sardinia. That'd be good to get, right? We we want to get all the Italian land. Um. So might as well start on that. Let's see. Huh. Venice is currently fighting the Ottomans, or the Ottomans are fighting Albania, which has brought in Venice. Not surprising. Hmm. All right. So for now, I'm just waiting for my stuff to finish up. Oh God, Hungary's getting wrecked early on. This could be good though, because lots of times when Hungary get, gets beat up, they can't afford to, or they they can't keep Croatia, or Croatia gets released in the peace deals. And that is good. Um, I think, if anything, like, we would want to maybe go to North Venice right now while they're getting beat up by the Ottomans. We'll see. We'll see. Let's, let's just, again, let's just wait till our vassals are done annexing. Wait and see what happens with Aragon, possibly, and just kind of chill in general, right? Let's just chill. Uh, Provence, I don't care about, so that works. Uh-oh, something changed. Rip, not sure what changed, but you know what? That's not a big deal. A little bit off is not a big deal. Still going to be pretty quick because of all the other positive factors, so yeah. Not a huge deal. Savoy declared upon Provence. What is this? Catholic Volunteers. Ah, look at that. Sure, I'll get a general. Why not? Yeah, that makes sense. We went probably over our force limit with the extra troops. Yeah, that's okay. That is okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's definitely, before, in case they declare 
early on. Let's declare a... Let's be sure to, to get a... Get a claim there. Okay. And then these guys will get... Uh, well, this, these guys will be done. Florence declared on Sienna. Wait, Florence declared on Sienna, not Ferrara. Uh... Interesting. Yeah, Florence is a greedy little wanker, you know, but, uh, it's okay. Um, this is already stated up land, so I didn't need to state it or anything. What is our force limit? It is 13. It went down a lot, obviously. Um, what do we even want to have as far as our army is concerned? I think, honestly, I'll, I'll get rid of these and just keep a 14 stack around. I think that's fine. Being one over is not going to do us in. Alright, let's see. Truce of Burgundy is up again. Whatever. I don't, I don't care about that necessarily. Again, you know, our first early steps are going to be a little slow, but it'll be, uh, it'll be fine. So, we would like to go to war with, with, uh, with Venice if possible. None of their allies would join, mind you. But Milan is not that strong. We don't have 10 favors with Austria yet, obviously. What if I promise Austria land? I could do that, right? They don't want any land that I haven't claimed. Huh. I do think f promising Milan land would be fine. Here's the question. Do I think I could beat Venice in a 1v1? Or should I, would I rather go to war with, like, Florence? Um, why would Austria... Well, because I'm not part of the Empire yet, duh. You know what? Maybe I should join the Empire. I actually kind of do think I should. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's going to make it a lot easier to conquer Imperial land. So, let's do it. Because, uh, like, now, let's go look at Ferrara, right? Look at that. That would be a good war. Much better than the Venice one. Um, yeah, okay. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to go over here and smash... Ferrara's facing. That's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to wait a second here to do this. We uh, found the Vatican Library. Look at that. An event. Um, oh, ooh. So we are these like permanent, I guess? We basically can establish it and we get admin tech costs and unrest, diplomatic reputation and diplotech, military tech and army tradition from battles. Okay. I think that national unrest down is probably the best and that's also just really good. Huh. Subiaco Press. Hold on, sorry. Uh, I was checking the timer. Uh, and then this one, Ponti Pontifical Universities. Okay, so that's a late game thing. Both of these are late game things. They're both good, though. Or mid game things, I guess, you know, but still. Um, cool. Yeah, I definitely think uh, we could actually, if anything, uh, maybe vassalize. Well, we're going to have Dalmatia as a vassal, but we could vassalize Ferrara too. Honestly, wouldn't it be a terrible idea? Um, I only have a claim on one province, but I want all three of their provinces. So, kind of seems like a textbook situation where you want to vassalize. Um, I kind of feel like it'd be a, yeah, a good decision, a great decision, maybe, even. Yeah, I do really want to do the War of Venice, don't get me wrong, but, again, I... And that was a good opportunity, but I don't think it's going to be our bet, our opportunity. I don't think it's our best opportunity. Fudge! Milan will join now. Why... Why though? Why now? Why now, Milan? Honestly, let's wait. I think that if their rebels uh, take over their capital, I think we'll be fine and they might not join. Darn, that's annoying though. I wonder if Naples actually will be fr break free. I'm hoping someone else will support their independence, like France. Uh, I don't think it's too unlikely either. Um, but... And me, me supporting definitely makes it so that it's they're likely to stay disloyal, right? And that's part of the the uh, purpose of doing so. That's part of why we did it. Why is Milan so like so willing to to defend them? It's very annoying. Um, and these are good court painters, and we are getting free prestige. Wow, or uh, stability rather, which is better than prestige. I don't want to fight you, Milan. I really don't want to fight you. Gosh darn it. I mean, we could just go all out, declare on Venice, call Milan in, then do our separate war with Ferrara. Um, 
That would be insane. I don't think that is even a remotely good idea. <laughs> we can't beat Venice and Ferrara and Ragusa all at once. Um, but I don't know what to do. Like, I, like Ferrara is the only good option I see right now. It's defensive war. Yeah, that's that's annoying. Um, I thought that getting their Capital Siege on would give them some negative reasons against it. I don't know. Let's let's wait till the end of the month. Maybe, maybe it still just hasn't ticked over or something. I don't know. What about if like they're in the middle of a battle? I don't know. Does that affect it? No, it doesn't even. Not even a little bit. What a, whatever, dude. Whatever. Mm, come on, Milan. Really? That's that's annoying. Oh, well, they just like. Got rid of some of their army. I don't know. Maybe it was Mercs. I don't know. Um, uh, this is uh, it's annoying. Hmm. Well, Provence is always an option. Um, Provence has lost their lost their ally of France. Huh. Okay. Definitely start fabricating there again. That would be a great one as well. Lots of times they join the Empire to get protection from France. They haven't done that yet, but I expect they will. Right now we have a 37% chance. We don't have enough money to do this either. Hmm. Again, keep checking, because it's possible maybe if their manpower gets worse or war exhaustion, I don't know. Okay, there we go. We have our two claims on uh, Aragon that we can actually really make use of. Or the, well, they're the only two we can get. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, so if the Ottomans weren't going to defend Ragusa, we could declare on Ragusa directly. Wouldn't actually be a terrible idea. Um, but it currently would be a terrible idea, obviously. <laughs> um, let's see. I'll tell you what. I think this is a good spot to wrap up. Obviously, again, a slow start, but we kind of knew that going into this, right? So, yeah, I'm going to go and wrap up here. Thank you guys for watching. Please go and leave a like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you in the next episode. Uh, again, um, you know, the support means a lot early on in a series. And I hope you're enjoying. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye.